back to the second half of our doubleheader. You're looking at a live look inside the Hawks' nest as the undefeated number one ranked Humber Hawks take on the Conestoga Condors. My name's Adam Lusher. Joining me at the broadcast table, Matt Caldwell. And we're in for a great game tonight. The number one and the number two teams in the West Division taking off. And for these Hawks, they had a pretty good holiday break heading over to, the, to Amsterdam in the Netherlands and taking first place in the 27th Annual Dynamo Tournament. Yeah, doing a real, real good job over there, finishing the tournament 9-1. and one. Only having a little bit of a blemish there as we take a look at the standings as we see these two Titans going at it, number one and number two. This is going to be about as good as it gets. Humber has been near untouchable to begin their 2019 season, dropping just two sets so far on the year. But Conestoga is one of those teams that did take a set off them back in November 23rd. So we're in for a doozy as two of the best teams in the division go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yeah, as, as you said, two of the best teams as we're going to take a look at some of some really, really good players. As you see, number there, number seven, Rezar Siddiqui, having an absolutely bombing year this year. Yeah, he'll lead the team in kills, Rezar Siddiqui. Also, check out his blog, Amsterdam Adventures, over there on HumberHawks.ca. He did a nice little daily vlog and their trip over to Amsterdam. And some pretty cool things on and off the court. Fellas got to check out the culture, celebrate New Year's in the Netherlands. Can't imagine Amsterdam be a pretty good season or place to get the party going. Yeah, definitely. It would have been very interesting to see what the party was like for New Year's Eve in Amsterdam. And on the other side, Judah Verbeek. For the Conestoga Condors, he is their offensive catalyst. 127 points for him already on the season. Ryan Clutton will be the one feeding him the opportunities. But you got to imagine for the Hawks, a lot of their eyes, eyesight is going to go to Judah for Beak. He's really number one as far as offensive opportunities. Yeah, I got to think all of their defense is going to be focusing solely on him. And we're going to see if Humber has to force them to make some adjustments to get some points. We're going to get the player introductions here and beat the Conestoga Condors. You're hearing the voice of Dwayne Bowles. The six-foot center and a Waterloo, Ontario, number one, Ryan Clutton. Crowder sends that one to the court. Really good effort there by Maximum Crowder, putting in the maximum effort. But on the other side of the net there, number one, Ryan Clutton doing a real one. is going on a little bit of a roll there as we're going to take a look at the replay. Hard struck ball there. Ryan Clutton on the line. Ten service aces for him on the season. Ferreira gets that one. Gomes on a tee to Fadari, and he'll make no mistake. Line judge had to get out of the way in a hurry before pointing that red flag down. And that's one of the a part of this uh, three-headed dog there that the Humber Hawks have between Sibiku, um, uh, Fadari, and Blakey that are going to be really active today. Earth, wind, and fire. Take your pick out of those three. Here's Duong once again off the block. Ferreira. Fadari puts it up. Here's Gomes back to Ferreira. That one off the arm of Schuler, and the Hawks have a 4 1 lead. They're off to a quick start. Yeah, you could say that again. So we're going to take a look at the swing there by the outside hitter. So far, so good. Rezart Sadiku and his familiar chicken wing to the service line. Big jump serve coming. It's a good looking one put up in the air. Set towards the net here. Ball over off the block. There's Roddy Kim Gomes looking for his man, Sadiku. No mistake. It's 5 1 Hawks. Yeah, no mistake there. And Umber showing that they're not afraid to go to Sadiku even when he is behind the attack line. And that's something that the Condors are really going to have to take a uh, look at and adjust with how good these hitters can be for Humber. And after that point, you see there timeout called by second year coach Kelly McGuire. He's seen enough. Only six points into this match, and Hawks have got five of them. Yeah, he uh, certainly would have liked to have called his first timeout a little bit later in the game, but you got to do what you got to do to try to break up the momentum that the Hawks have starting the game here. Yeah, these Condors starting just a little bit flat footed. And you got to think there's not a lot of holiday rust for these Humber Hawks. They had that big t trip. Not only was it a great playing opportunity, obviously they went 9 and 1, finishing first in that tournament. But as well, just a bonding opportunity. They visited the Anne Frank House and different spots around Europe and really got to gel. So coming back on the floor to begin their 2020 season, 
got to be feeling pretty loose. Yeah, I mean, they would definitely still be in some pretty mid-season form there, like you said, competing over the seas there in Amsterdam. As we said at the top of the broadcast, going 8-1 and one over there. So, yeah, still keeping their top form and that mid-season shape there going into the final half of the season. So the Hawks are flying to begin this one. Condors find themselves a little flat-footed. Raddy Kim having a discussion with Wayne Wilkins. Jake Combs coming over to clear the air. Trying to communicate with the chair umpire here. And yeah, making sure the umpire, the coaches, and the players are all on the same page here. As it looks like we are. Sadiku for another serve. He's dynamite from the service line. Rezart Sadiku. Blunton's going to put that one up to the middle of the court. Sadiku with the first touch. Gomes looking for Ferreira over the block. It goes. Far side once again. That one put down a nice looking play off the hand of Judah Verbeek. And as we said at the top of the show, he's going to be another one of the, well, mostly the main guy that the Conestoga Condors like to go to for that third hit. So seeing him put one down early might be a little scary here for Hummer as we see a nice little service ace there. Kevin Duong getting it done, painting that back line. Those Humber Hawks staring at each other, need a little bit better communication on that backcourt. Duong with another service opportunity. This time the Hawks let it sail long and it does just that. Good court vision there by Raddy Kim. The serving for the Hawks, number 12, Max Crowder. Maximum Crowder, second on this team in blocks to the fifth year player, Andrew Blakey. He's a big man up at the net. Duong gets the second touch, going far side. Three man block, can't get it done. Off the net it goes. Sadiku with the three ball. One in the air, here's Kevin Duong. And he'll find the backcourt. So after a shaky start, finding themselves down 5 1. A quick timeout by head coach McGuire, and all of a sudden it's a 6 4 game. Yeah, Humber starting it looking like they're running away with it at the start of the game, but the Condor is not out of it yet as they are showing a little bit of fight here early in this one. Give credit to Kevin Duong. He's been dynamite thus far. Gomes with a floater to Ferreira, trying to go cross court. This one's salvaged. Duong puts it off the white tape and back on the Conestoga side. The Hawks can extend their lead. Number two, Josh Fedora. The freshman sensation, Joshua Fadari, on the line. So good offensively for the Hawks this year. Absolutely could not ask for a better first year from the rookie. Here's Verbeek. Raddy Kim gets to that one. Got a scramble. Ferreira gets to it. Free ball put over by Sadiku. Far side once again. Off the block it goes. Gomes and Blakey teaming up for the double team block. And a good job there by the Humber block, recognizing that Verbeek was going to be taken out of the play and getting all over that outside hitter. Had nowhere to go with that one. If you're watching Conestoga tape, you got to know the ball's going to be going to Verbeek more often than not. Flutton puts that one up, and once again, Andrew Blakey on the block at another to his total. Oh, just a monster read there by the big middle, number 14, as he was up and all over that one. Blakey extending his team lead in blocks. So important to this club as a fifth year player. Fadari, that one goes a little bit wayward. Not what he was looking for on that touch, able to laugh it off with his teammates. And he looked at him there, didn't quite get the right toss up he was looking for. Was, uh, he had to fight to sort of get up in the air to get his feet off the ground before touching the line. OC double A leader in total attacks, Judah Verbeek with the serve there. Gomes on the net, there's Blakey. Nice work by the Condors to corral it. Far side, off the block, Raddy Kim can't get to it. A nice looking play from Matt Wrigley. Yeah, good try there by Raddy Kim. He's usually the one that the Hummer looks for to, for those digs, just unable to get one there. The usually sure-handed Raddy Kim came into today with 49 digs on the season. The libero for this club. He'll get the first touch here. Gomes with an athletic set. Fadari tries to get it over, but that one will sail wide. Humber scrambling from the get-go. Can't corral it for the point. It's 9-7. Yeah, unfortunate there, but a big, big serve there by Judah Verbeek. The, uh, another first-year sensation here. We've got two of them on both sides of the court between Fadari and Verbeek. It's going to be a fun one seeing those two 
go head to head all day long. Gomes at the net over in two. And that one catches Judah for Beak off guard. Jake Gomes with a fine look at play. Yeah, Jake Gomes, one of his favorites he likes to do every now and then, just to sprinkle it into the heads of the opposition. That one working to perfection there. Jake Gomes, really the quarterback of this Humber attack. Can dish it out and can give it. Here's Clutton going far side to Wrigley. He'll meet the block and get it through. Gomes and Blakey once again went up there, but Wrigley gets the kill. Yeah, just, just making it, squeaking through that block there. As you see there, Fadari trying to get that hand down for the pancake, just couldn't get there in time. So Wrigley after that kill, head to the line. You can see the power in his swing. Not too many guys could beat the block of Blakey. But he'll follow that up with a service error ball. Gonna head back the way of the Hawks. Yeah, and when you have two Titans like this going up against each other, that right there, a service ace, could really be the difference maker between the two teams here in this one today. That's exactly right, Matt. Two of the finest clubs we've seen in the OC AA. Mistakes cannot be afforded as that one on the net. Kevin Duong gets the better of it. A nice play at the net by Duong brings the Condors to within two. Yeah, good play by Duong, but a little bit of laziness there by Fidari. Just didn't quite have the urgency when that ball came to him and unfortunately cost them a point. Incoming serve for the Hawks to let that one sail long. Service error going to be charged to Dylan Art. Serving for the Hawks is number 13. And Fidari, smile on his face knowing that his little bit of an error gone unpunished as the ball now back in the hands of Jake Gomes. Jake Gomes, 14 service aces on the year, over and one goes to Deku. Condors recover. Let's see who Gomes finds. All the way for the backcourt, it's Ferreira, who hammers it off a Condor. And that's a point with a 30. Yeah, for real, you can say that again. Absolutely winding up for that one, as he absolutely put everything into that one, putting a tattoo on the ball. Couldn't really do much there if you're the one to make the dig. So the big man Gomes is going to stay on the line. Clutton at the net. That one's poked right back by Maximum Crowder. He waves the hand over the neck. No, 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 not on me. Crowder getting it done here early. Yeah, so far, Hummer's net presence has been really effective, making some really, really strong leads to start this game. Gomes off the white safe. Clutton recovers over to Duong. Off the block, it goes out of the reach of Schuler. And that's a good technical point they are awarded to Humber. Yeah, Humber just doing everything right there. Once again, that net presence just really overwhelming these Conestoga Condors here as uh, Humber's starting to find themselves a little bit of momentum. This first set flying by, already 15-9, and Jake Gomes puts another ace on the board. Getting closer and closer is he to that oh-so-pretty record as that one was an absolute beauty painting the line. With a large seven-point lead opening up, Kelly McGuire is going to be charged with another timeout here. He's going to want to talk things over. Not an ideal start for the Condors. They battled hard and stayed in it, but things getting a little way worse for them here. Yeah, maybe just still trying to shake off some of that winter rust going into the break. You know, this is the first game that these guys are playing after the break. And, you know, you can have a pretty good time. A lot of turkey, a lot of leftovers can make you a little bit slow-footed there on the court. And as we said before, you know, Humber, they spent their break over in Amsterdam, so they're still feeling that roll. And uh, that could really be the, uh, the difference maker here, as well as potentially those service errors. That's a great point, Matt. Humber coming off that 9-1 record in that European tournament. And for the Condors, they went into the break with a 3-1 loss to the Niagara Knights. So certainly not going into the break on the highest of highs. And they haven't exactly started that way either as they trail big here in set number one. And big focus here for Humber just to keep the pedal on the metal. As we see just that, we got another service ace for Jake Gomes. The next service ace for Jake Gomes is going to move him into the top five all time for Humber. Every jump serve here for Jake is an opportunity to join the history books. He'll start with a floater, and there it is. A cheeky little floater there. 
As you know, he's been really rearing back for these big, big windmill jump serves, and that one just putting a little bit of, taking a little bit off, throwing a little bit of a change up there, as just unable to get to it was number four, Wrigley. And another service ace for Jake Gold. So not only does he join the top five, he's already trying to move into fourth as he finds his way, screaming up that Humber all time, service ace list. What a night yeah, for Jake Gomes. Absolutely feeling himself, starting to get a little bit hot there at the service line. Smiling. As Humber, yeah, seeing <laughs> their biggest lead, now 10 points. Jake Gomes always having fun on the court, especially tonight with the performance he's put on. Condors finally get a hand on this one. It's Dong going against Fadari. And Fadari with the stare down and the turnaround. That's about as good as it gets on the block from Joshua. Yeah, Fadari going one on one there and winning the battle. Just really proving this Humber net presence a really, really big factor here in set number one. 20 to 9 is your score. The Hawks steamrolling the Condors here inside the Hawks' nest. This one trailing towards us. Ryan Clutton unable to track it down. And I think it's fair to say Jake Gomes has now caught fire from the service line. He is absolutely rolling at the end of this set. Jake Gomes was making himself comfortable on that service line. He can sit down with a tea and a crumpet. He's been making it his home, third year player out of Oakville. A big jump serve incoming. That one corralled by Schuler. In the middle it goes. That's put up by Gomes. Set here to Fadari. Off the block, tipped up. Ryan Clutton over in two. Ferreira sends that one to the skies. Fadari can't out jump Duong. And Kevin Duong earns a hard earned point to get the Condors to 10. Yeah, good point there for the Condors. And uh, Clutton showing a little bit of uh, what Gomes likes to do to other teams, getting it over in two. Uh, good job there by Humber for the scramble, but just unfortunate there. Got that pass not quite right. Here's Sadiku on the far side. That floater just trails wide. He can't believe it. But able to smile about it with a lead this big. 21 to 11, a big 10 point spread. Clutton remains on the line for the Condors. They need a special run here, and that surely won't do it. Hawks now just three away from a decisive first set victory. So hey, guess what? You get Jake Gomes off the line. Now you just got to deal with Razart Sadiku. Good luck. Yeah, exactly. And that's one thing that uh, not a lot of teams have when every single person on the court, when they're at the service line, can absolutely lay it down. And you really have to focus with every single serve when you're going up against the Humber. For Beak with a big kill there for the Condors. Kind of settles things down. This crowd starting to get behind their Humber Hawks in a big way. Matt Wrigley back into this one for the Condors. He's been pretty impressive on that left side. Duong with the serve and another service error. Surely can't afford that, especially at this point in the match. Yeah, unfortunate back-to-back -back service errors by Conestoga. As you said, that's really not what you're looking for when you're trying to get yourself back into the game and creating yourself a little bit of momentum. Those service errors really just kills it. So this is the first we've seen of Christopher Bowen today. First year player that's making a big impact. Playing behind Jake Gomes in that setter position. Far side, Matt Wrigley, three-man block, but it'll go out. Everything goes right, but the ball placement as the Condors back within 10. Serving the Condors, number six. Yeah, another big read by the Humber block. All three of them there just couldn't quite get the angle into the court. Unfortunate. McEwen for the Condors. Sadiku gets his fingertips on that. Bowen with some good hustle. Ferreira just got to give up a free ball. Clutton trying to find his man. It's Duong off the block of Andrew Blakey and out. So a hard struck ball by Kevin Duong gets it done for Conestoga. And Conestoga doing a really good job taking advantage of the free ball that Humber gives them. As Humber really not known to give too many away, so you really have to take advantage of the ones you get. McEwen with the line drive serve. Sadiku sends that skyward. Here's Ferreira. Clutton with the first touch. Duong gets to it. Here's for Beek. He'll beat the block but he can't get it in the line, but deflected this is the ruling by the chair umpire. So the point will go the way of the Condors. They're now within eight. 
Yeah, chair umpire's got a little bit of help on the other side of the court with another umpire. He making the call that it went off the Humber block. Unfortunately, there's it keeps the Conestoga Condors in this set. Fedori with a big swing and a big kill. That'll bring the Hawks to set point. My goodness. Those are one of those balls when you hear it hit off the hand, you know that he got absolutely all of that one. Because that was an absolute beauty by the rookie. Another chance for a big swing, this time on the service line. Duong sends that into the rafters. Wrigley tries to push that one over, but point will be awarded. Two-touch violation, and that will award the Humberhawks set number one. Pretty convincing, 25 to 15. So this one coming into it, kind of build it as an ultra competitive matchup. Number one in the West against number two in the West, but the Hawks have really come in here early and flex their muscles. Yeah, really doing that exactly. Just showing that their block has been absolutely on point, making really good reads on the defensive side as well. You know, really good serving. Jake Gomes going on an absolute run with the service aces. Hummer just showing it on every single facet of the game. They're doing it to the top level. Yeah, coming into this game, I was doing my pregame prep, and I saw that Jake Gomes only needed four service aces to reach into the top five. And I, go, huh, I hope he reaches it tonight. Here we are, just about to head into set number two, and he already got to the top five and surpassed that. He's yeah, unbelievable. Exactly. I mean, we got there halfway through the first set, even. And he's just absolutely on a roll. And sometimes, you know, when you know you're about to cross a milestone or a record of some kind, kind of be in the back of your head, and it can kind of take you a little bit longer than you really wanted it to, but, you know, Jake Gomes showing that, hey, you know, I only need one game to do it. I only need one set to do it. Jake Gomes, one of those players that plays best when the lights are on. I mean, you got to imagine, like you said, that record is in the back of your head, but he got it out of the way in a hurry. So take yeah. a look at Coach Wilkins having a chat with Roddy Kim and the fellas. Pretty impressive start for them. Yeah, Wayne Wilkins, he's, you know, 26 years behind the bench. He knows exactly what to do with the type of tools and players that he possesses with the Humber Hawks. And when you have, you know, especially their two real big hitters that the Humbers have in Sadiku and Fadari, it just, it's really tough to deal with when you're on the other side of the court and you know that, hey, Humber made a good pass to their setter. You know they're going to come and lay down one. So you really have to be on your toes the entire game. You really can't get lazy. And something interesting we saw late there in set number one, Jake Gomes was on the floor with Christopher Bowen, two of the finest setters in the entire OCAA. And when you have those big hitters like Sadiku and Fadari and two great setters that can feed them the ball for the Conestoga Condors, you just got to keep your head on a swivel. You don't know who's going to set that ball, who's going to take a swing. Pick your poison, really. Right, exactly, right? When you have two high, high quality setters on the court, you know, you when you're trying to hit, you know, you really want to focus on the setter because if you take make the setter uh, take the first pass, then that means he's not making the second one and you could potentially have a, a bad set. But when you have two really high quality setters, you know, you can hit it to Bowen and you know, um, Gomes is going to be there. Or you hit it to Gomes and you know that Bowen, uh, Bowen's going to be there, excuse me. So it's really, really tough when you're on the other side of the court dealing with just the depth that Humber has. An interesting lineup by the ultra experienced Wayne Wilkins. It appears as though Bowen will start set number two on the bench. Blakey, Fadari, Sadiku, Ferreira, Crowder, and Gomes are your Hawks on the floor. Ratty Kim, your libero. For the Condors, it's do or die time. They flatline there in set number one, trying to prove their worth against the team above them in the standings. They're going to need a much better performance here in set number two. And getting things started, Ryan Clutton. Yeah, it's going to be important for the boys in black to get off to a good start here. As that one just sailing out of bounds and uh, not the start that kind of Soda was looking for. Ideal start for the Hawks. They get the ball back with a point already on the board. And guess who? Jake Gomes. Finding his center. Big jump serve. And my, oh my, Jake Gomes is that one. He's doing the eat. He's doing the James Harden eat. That's exactly what he's doing. Jake Gomes is feasting on the Condors tonight. Already six service aces on the day. Yeah, it seems like no, no matter what Jake Gomes does from the service line, he puts it in the right spot in the court. 
Has another real good serve there. Jake Gomes puts that one up. Ratty Kim near side. Fadari off the block. Gomes keeps it alive. Nice play there from the backcourt. Ferreira sends it over. Clutton near side for Beak off the block of Fadari. And that'll trail out wide. It's 2 1 Hawks. Yeah, and even though that ball goes off the block and out of bounds for Humber, that's still a really good job showing that they can get two guys up and really big in front of the big hitter of Verbeek. So that's a really good job there by Humber, even though they didn't quite get the bounce. Good time. Even off the result they were looking for. Far side now, Fidari tried to drop that one down on a dime, but came down on the Humber Hawk side. It's tied up at two. And unfortunately, maybe not quite the set that Jake Gomes was looking for for his outside hitter, just maybe a little bit too far. Fidari trying to squeeze it over with his far hand, just unable to do it. Another three, free point for the Hawks there as Duong sends that one out of bounds. Sadiku at the line. See him with the bench do his trademark chicken wing. There she is. And we are ready to rock. Jump serve coming from Razart. That one put up by Schuler. Here's Clutton with the back set. Sadiku, nice work to get to that one. Ferreira, big, big swing, point towards the Hawks, 4-2. Yeah, good swing by Ferreira, but either way, uh, it would have been called on the net violation, but still a really good job by Ferreira to get over to be able to put down something as hard as he did. He's gonna have a net violation, might as well put a big swing on it anyways. Schuler sends that one skyward, far side, Judah for Beek. And he's starting to show the power he possesses. That's a big swing from the right arm. Yeah, putting it down just in front of Sadiku. Sadiku showing Wayne Wilkins just right off the fingertips there, as it was a real good hit there by the star youngster, Verbeek. Fourth-year veteran Katerberg sends that over to Kim. Gomes now to Fadari. That cross-court winner is down. Nice play made there by number two, his third kill. On the evening. A real good back set there by the setter Jake Gomes and a real good hit to match is Joshua Fadari. Clutton looks for Verbeek once again. Razard gets to that one. Here's Gomes serving up Ferreira. That one's off the block and out. And Ferreira has used that power move time and time again, and the Condors haven't found an answer yet. Yeah, I mean, uh, Ferreira seems to be like, okay, time to swing harder this time, and it seems to be working, so keep, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? That's exactly it, as Duong gets the touch for the Condors in the middle. Hawks scrambling, Jake Gomes. Not the first touch he was looking for, but with the game he's been having, we'll let that one slide. Yeah, that, we're just going to sweep that one underneath the rug there. <laughs> Don't tell mom about it. As, yeah, he's been having an absolutely stud of a game. It has been Jake Gomes, so, you know, just one of those ones where you just got to shake it off and see the next touch. Big serve incoming, that one. About six feet long, another service error. Hawks being awarded plenty of free points on those errors. They're starting to rack up for Conestoga. Yeah, Conestoga, they really do have to clean up their game from the service line as when you're going up against a team like Humber, especially the way they have played so far in this one, you really can't continue to give them free points. And Fidari being a kind host gives one right back, another three point, three point there on the service error. And even though the Conestoga Condors haven't quite had the serving this set, still finding themselves only trailing by three, still not out of it by any means. Jake Gomes with the set for Rara. What a game he's had, but he slightly misses that one as it's out on the far side. Yeah, tried to go down the line, just squeezing it past the block, but just, just going on the outside. Oh, yeah, real close there. Sure didn't miss by much. That's a good shot down the line there. Here's Gomes in the middle. Blakey. The point is going to go to Conestoga, a net violation charged against the Hawks there. We have a tie game here, 7-7. A much better start here to the second set for Conestoga. The chair umpire having a conversation with both sides of the floor. And yeah, once again, just making sure everybody's on the same page and knows what's going on. A miscue there, Raddy Kim and Sadiku. Both made an attempt for that ball. Sadiku pulled away at the last minute. Raddy Kim's bump just off the mark. And that's a couple times now that Humber's had a little bit of a lack of communication off the serve. So 
That could be something they need to clean up here going forward. Big set there off the head of a condor, and Fadari makes a statement. Tying this one up at eight. Yeah, Duong doing a really good job of getting up and getting big. And Fadari just putting it right off the dome there and going out of bounds. Can't really do much about that if you're the Comstoga Condors. You know you got good hops when you get hit in the face on a block attempt. Pretty good getting the chin over the net there, Kevin Twonk. Yeah, the verticals on some of these guys are absolutely no joke. As we're going to get a little bit of a lucky service ace there as that just squeaks through the hands. Yeah, not a pretty first touch there for the Condors. That one goes right in between the thumbs. So for Ferreira, a service ace happily awarded to his stat sheet. He'll get another opportunity here. Second year player from Rio de Janeiro. Clutton with a high set, far side, Duong. Perhaps he heard footsteps there. Blakey and Gomes were there on the block. And this Humber bench is dancing it up as they find their team up too. And that's a pretty tough set to make as he's really got to fire that ball all the way across the court and still get it up high enough where your hitter can do enough with it. And just unfortunate there, couldn't quite get the mustard on it to get it across the court for a good set. Ferreira didn't miss by much on that service attempt, but he'll send the ball back the Condor's way. It's a one-point set here. Humber leads one set to nothing. Conestoga trying to tie things up. And more miscommunication there as that one flies right by Kim. It's Josh Fadari on the shins. They're talking things over here. A little frustration shown on the face of Josh Fadari. And definitely one. Again, you just got to shake that off. Focus on the next one here. Ferreira gets the first touch. Here's Gomes, now Blakey in the middle of the court. Nice scramble here by the Condors. It's a free ball. Kim, Gomes, Blakey. Once again, the Condors survive. Down on the net it goes, but it'll be a net violation charge against Conestoga. So the Hawks had to work hard, but they get the point. Going ahead, 11-10. Yeah, a little bit more of a scramble there for the Hawks, but getting the fortunate call there with the net violation as it'll send Blakey to the service line. Blakey with a good looking serve, and he's got himself an ace. Showing the experience there, fifth year, Andrew Blakey getting it done. And Blakey saying, hey, Jake Gomes, step aside here. I want some service aces as well. That was a pretty one indeed. That one just doesn't clear the net. That'll put an end to Blakey's time Seven on the line. He'll take a seat on the bench. Checking back in, Raddy Kim, the libero. Setter for the Condors, Ryan Clutton. Sends this one over, good looking serve. Gomes finds Crowder in the middle. That one's put up by Schuler. Ryan all the way over to Verbeek, Fadari. Gomes tries to go over in two. That one's knocked right back. Big set and a decoy. Rezar Sadiku tries to go cross court. Condors recover. Here's Ferreira. Gomes once again. Now Ferrari. Fadari gets it done. A good looking rally. And after a little bit of frustration, Joshua Fadari right back on track. Yeah, Joshua Fadari absolutely putting it down from behind the attack line, shaking off that little bit of communication, as you said, absolutely tattooing that ball. So some shaky moments here in set number two, but the Hawks really do seem to be settling in here. Gomes on the line, that's the man you want. That one all the way into the rafters. Yeah, that ball doing a little bit of the matrix there, avoiding pretty much everything in the rafters, but unfortunately coming down way out of bounds. So after that last point given up, Kelly McGuire, head coach of the Condors, has seen enough. His team has put up an awful good fight here in set two, but despite all that, they'll find themselves down three. Yeah, McGuire definitely got to be a little bit happier with his squad, sticking a little bit closer to the Humber Hawks, not letting them get too much on a roll here. As, uh, you know, just I've, everything is looking a little bit better, even though they have struggled a little bit from the service line, Conestoga may be finding a little bit of their self here in set number two. That's a great point, Matt. Obviously, Conestoga would love to find themselves ahead, but there's one point in that first set where it was 20 to 9 for the Humber Hawks. So the 
fact that you're within striking distance, just a few points away from tying things up. Good time should be ahead for Kelly McGuire and his team as long as they cut back on those service errors. Yeah, that's pretty much the, the thick of it. I mean, the, you clean up those service errors from behind the line, you don't give the three or four or so points that they have given to Hummer here in this set. And hey, uh, Conestoga could have the lead here in this set if uh, you know they just got to clean up a little bit more from behind the service line. Set number one was all Hubbard. Set number two is still up for anybody. We'll see who can take control, who can run away with it. And who else would you want on the line but Gomes? Six service aces on the day. Clutton skies that one for Judah Verbeek. Fodari gets the block. Far side now, Duong once again on the block. And the Hawks can't chase that one down. Crowder and Sadiku were there. Yeah, a little bit of a tough bounce there as it almost looked like it went off Sadiku, then hit Crowder sort of on the back of the arm, back of the head. A little bit of a hard read there as Joshua Fadari just a little bit too far away to make a play on it. Kevin Duong with a service error. We just mentioned this, how that's been an error all day for the Condors, and once again, they're just giving up those free points. Yeah, and it's really unfortunate because this really could be a very different look here for the Conestoga Condors if they just clean up that little lack of urgency, I guess, from the uh, service line. Sadiku with the hammer. Schuler gets a touch on it. Far side for Beek pushes it, and once again, Raddy Kim and Rezard Sadiku can't get to it. Right after that point, Wayne Wilkins made a quick turn to his assistant coaches. He's seeing something he's not quite fond of. And maybe Sadiku expecting a little bit of a harder hit there, playing a little bit further back into the court. Kim with the touch, Gomes now to Fadari. He'll meet the block. And it'll be Humber's point as that one finds down. Smile back on the hand, on the face of Josh Fadari. Yeah, Josh Fadari just squeezing it in between the net and the hands of the Conestoga block. Conestoga just not quite tight to that net that they needed to be there on that one. Crowder sends that one over. Verbeek pushes it. Gomes, Sadiku, Fadari. He'll beat the block and find the court. Seventh kill on the day for Joshua Fadari. Yeah, Joshua Fadari is having a real good, real good night here. Real good second set as we uh, take a look at laying down that one. Pretty good look. He's starting to get into the swing of things. Just what Humber needed. Clutton with the bump set. This one's over. And how about that? from Maximum Crowd. We mentioned the Matrix a little bit it's earlier. He did a little Neo impression there. Yeah, looking like a Keanu Reeves over there. <laughs> the far side of the court, doing a really good job dropping those hands. At six foot eight, Crowder had a whole lot of body to get out of the way of that one. Nice work and great court vision to realize how close you are to that boundary line and let that one sail past. Yeah, a couple of those key marks that you kind of keep in your head to uh, look for in your peripheral vision to know sort of where you are in the court. That's a real good job there by Maximum Crowder. Chris Bowen comes into this game with a service error. He'll check right back out. Raddy Kim back into the fold. Judah Verbeek mentioned earlier, the OCAA leader in total attacks. He's had quite a few again today. And add a service ace to his stat sheet. Good looking serve by and Judah. A couple kills, a dig, and now a service ace to his name. As this is definitely not what Humber wants to see. Not really looking forward to him getting on a roll from the service line. So things staying tight here. Just three points separate these two teams. Sadiku sends that one high, a high set. Over in Ferreira. Just gets that one over the net. Clutton quickly over in one. Gomes looking for Fadari. He's looking for the backcourt. Duong gets to it. Clutton. This one's over and out. Raddy Kim and Razard Sadiku throw their hands up. Let that one sail long, and it's 19 15. See Fadari's stat sheet there. Looking pretty good on the day. Three digs, five kills. Looking for a service ace. Nearly gets it there. Clutton. In the air, Judah Verbeek finds nothing but net. Works straight in basketball, but sure on the volleyball, that goes the other way. 20 to 15, the Hawks lead. And definitely not wanting that ball to go into the net if you are the hitter. A little bit of an unfortunate pass there by the setter, just 
not quite enough, far enough across uh, Verbeek's body there to get enough on it and to get it down and into the Hummer court. Okay, another timeout here. Charge to Kelly McGuire and the Conestoga Condors. But they've kept this game close. Last time out came with a three-point deficit. Now it's up to five. Have a little bit of wiggle room. Hawks need five points to close it out to see Howie the Hawk having some fun. Taking in the action. How you doing, Howie? Yeah, Howie the Hawk being a gracious host, a good doorman. Making sure he's greeting every fan here out of the Hawks nest. Defend the nest indeed. That's exactly what the Hawks have been doing to start off 2020. Earlier tonight at 6 o'clock, the Humber women knocked off Conestoga in a three-set sweep. Now the men's team trying to do exactly that as a pretty good crowd is on hand. Hawks Nation just keeps on throwing, not going to stop anytime soon. Starting out the right for the Hawks is number two, Josh. Josh Fodari. Getting things kick started here after the timeout. Big old jump serve there, and that is an ace. Number two, Josh Fodari. I mean, you really can't do much better than a spot like that. I mean, really painting that back line there in the back side of the court. Really good job there by Joshua Fodari. Let's see what he has in store here. Another good looking serve and another ace. Josh Fedari, a quick celebration, then right back to the line. No time to waste for Joshua. And no time to waste. Uh, wants to keep this little bit of a groove that he's got going here as he's trying to extend this Humber lead. The freshman has been a big part of this team all season long. And that'll end his run there with the service error. A pretty good look, two aces and an error for Fedari on that run. Yeah, a couple of really good serves and another really good spot there, just spinning it a little bit too far wide. Dylan Art with a line drive. Jake Gomes over and two, and that works to perfection. Just one of the many tricks Jake Gomes has up his sleeve. Yeah, and it really seems like whenever Jake Gomes decides to go with that play, he just about has like a 100% on that. He does a really good job reading the defense and putting something down like that. And so many teams know it's coming. It's a move that he had time and time again last year as well, but he uses it just in the right situations and the right lineups, and he gets it done more time than not. And I mean, we've also seen Clutton do the same thing a couple times in this game. So, you know, their own team knows it and does it themselves. So, yeah, it's really one of those plays where you almost have to really read the setter. And it's a really tough play to make when you're on the defensive side of the ball. That's exactly it, Hawks. On set point here, Ferreira won't be the man to get it. As that one heads into the net. A lot of wiggle room here for the Hawks as they're closing in the on another set two victory. Yeah, but again, you know, they really can't get complacent here. You know, these Condors are still a really solid team and could really get find themselves on a roll. Razard Sadiku finds its way in, and that will do it for set number two, 25-17. Much more competitive than that first set we saw, but once again, a commanding win for the Humber Hawks as they take a two-to-nothing set lead. Man, just as I'm saying, Humber can't get complacent, and there goes Razard Sadiku absolutely putting a tattoo on that ball, doing a really good job. And just Humber, once again, showing that they have depth all throughout the court. Every single one of their players has some really good touches, as well as a couple of kills to everybody's name. As we take a look up and down that bench, Ferreira, Crowder, the whole gang has been involved tonight, and you mentioned the depth, Matt. That's been an absolute huge part of it, up and down this lineup. Especially as this season wears on, 9-0 in 2019, trying to start off 2021-0. It's a big, long season. A whole lot of tournaments in the way. So important that you have a healthy lineup. And if you don't, you have those players that can step up into those big roles. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, knock on wood, Humber's had a really good fortune uh, with the injury trouble. So they've been able to stay very healthy so far this season. As you know, it's, uh, you know, the second half of the season, it really starts, the uh, playoffs are on the mind. You know, you really want to finish on a good, strong note. And uh, Humber, it's exactly how they want to start their second half of the season. This one's absolutely flying by. We're just 45 minutes into this game, but we already have two sets in 
the book, Humber likes to play fast. We saw Fadari on the service line not too long ago, just taking maybe 30 seconds between serves, and the Hawks find their rhythm. They like to roll with it. They're going to try to get things done and have a clean sweep for the Condors here tonight in the Hawks' fest. Yeah, and it's a sort of a similar sort of strategy you see in baseball a lot of the time. You got the pitcher on the mound. They like to work quickly, make sure that the batter in the batter's box really can't get comfortable, can't get their rhythm in. And you know when you're on the service line and you lay down a real big serve, just going right back there and laying another one down really gets in the head of the defense and the opposition and can really start uh, chewing away at the scoreboard. And you can see big leads um, disappear as well as start. Yeah, the services have kind of been the storyline for the Hawks in this one. I mentioned Jake Gomes, of course, how many times we said his name tonight. Six service aces for him on the game. On the other side, the Condors have struggled with service errors. So a lot of the points the Hawks are earning with their aces. And they're getting free ones just lobbed up to them by all these points into the net and out of bounds. Yeah, it's a really good point. I mean, the Condor, Conestoga Condors, excuse me, that really, that's one thing, big part of their game that they have missed so far through two sets here. They're definitely going to try to look to clean up that game from behind the service line, as, yeah, that's really been the difference maker so far. And you can see how loose that Humber Hawks team is, and why not? You're 9-0, you're the number one ranked team in the nation, and you're playing the second best team in your division, and you're pretty, pretty good beating on them here up two sets to nothing. There's a reason to have those smiles on their faces. Trying to close this one out in a hurry for the Conestoga Condors. They're looking for more of a start than they had in set number two. They just got to find a way to finish. Yeah, Conestoga really has to try to figure out a way to stop this growing snowball that is the Humber Hawks offense. As we see Jake Gomes starting it off here in set number three, and that's definitely not what you want to be looking at if you're Conestoga. The newest member of the top five at Humber's all-time service ace list. Jake Gomes gets us underway. Set three action from the Hawks' nest. This one puts skyward. Kevin Duong beats the block. This one over at one for the Hawks. Set up once again. This time Judah for Beak. Ferreira gets a hand on it, but that'll head into the bleachers. Yeah, unfortunately there, maybe looking like that might have sailed out the back of the court. But either way, that's, you know, that's one of those split second decisions that, you know, hey, try to put hands on it, try to at least put a good touch on it and make a decent pass. A good try there by nice. Ferreira. See if Eduardo grit his teeth there, maybe not the touch he was looking for. Crowder puts that off the head of his blocker. Near side, Fadari. That one's off the hand of Ryan Clutton and the Hawks tied up at one. Short-lived lead there for Conestoga. Serving is number seven, Razor and Sydney Hughes. Should take a look at the ball deflect off of a couple of Conestoga Condors there. Svidari getting a little bit of a fortunate bounce. Razor Sadiku with the service ace. Ryan Clutton unable to get to that one. My goodness. Man, Razor Sadiq is one of those guys where you really, you don't really know exactly what you're going to get from the service line. You might get something like a bullet like that, but then there's also times where, you know, he's going to throw you that change up. Great on the service line as he might get himself another ace here as that ball trails toward the scorer's table. Back to back service aces for Razor Sadiq. Pretty good from the service line and not too bad of a blogger either. If you want to check out his Amsterdam adventure piece on HumberHawks.ca. He's got a couple of really good blogs out there detailing their amazing trip overseas. This one right on the net. Good anticipation by Jake Gomes. Fadari puts an absolute wallop on the ball. And it's going to be a net violation. Charged to Conestoga. Yeah, really good job there by both the setter Gomes and Fedari as Gomes really had to watch that go off the net and still made a really good job to get it up high enough for Fedari to lay it down. Sadiku, that one's sailing long as Condors cut the deficit to two. Kevin Duong going to head back to the line. And a chicken wing catching a little bit too much air there. That one's sailing way out of bounds. Do or die time now for the Condors. They got to stay in this one. Jake Gomes sets it up for Fadari off the block, off of Duong. And another point on the board for Humber. 
Yeah, DeWong just couldn't quite get his hands up quick enough off of that deflection. It just goes right through his fingers. As once again, we see Humber finding themselves with another momentum streak. The big man, Maximum Crowder, sends that one over the net. He's on the far side to Ryan Clutton with the rare attack. Jake Gomes looking for Sadiku, but a nice looking block there. Getting it done, Aaron Caterberg for the Condors. Serving the Condors is number 13, and Kevin Caterberg. Caterberg will find his way to the line after that big block. Definitely brings some size to this Conestoga Condor front court. Line drive, serve is over. Gomes looking near side. Ferreira controlled cross court. Fadari gets to it. Gomes to Blakey. This one's coming right towards us. Coming right to the table. Judah Verbeek taking one of my stat sheets. Thanks, man. <laughs> Judah Verbeek doing some. Oh, he ripped it. He ripped it. Ah, uh, she still looks good. I'll forgive Judah Verbeek. That's a big hustle play there for the big man. Offer, give him stats, still looking okay. Schuler puts that one in the air. Clutton with the attack. Nice work by Verbeek to get that one off the net. Here it goes to Clutton, little bump over. Gomes goes near side. Ferreira trying to find the back, back line, but a little long it goes. 6 4, the Hawks lead here in set three. And that's twice they've gone to their setter, Clutton, for the hit. And twice he's really put a really good touch on it putting a lot of power behind that with that small frame. One of the smaller guys on the court, but really doing a good job there. Absolutely tattooing the ball. Speaking of tattoo, that's exactly what Verbeek did to that serve, and he'll sail an awfully long way as the Hawks collect another point. Serving for the Hawks, number eight, Eduardo Ferreira. Here is Eduardo. Taking his time on the service. Here comes the jump serve, a little knuckleball. Clutton gets the first touch, trying to go over and two, and Ray Zartaniku says, no, you don't. Sends it right back into Condor territory. Yeah, really good strength play there at the net by number seven, Ray Zartaniku, doing a really good job. Those are one of those sort of thumb war kind of plays where you got the blocker and the attacker going at it really at the same time, but Razard doing a really good job getting both hands up there and getting what he needed behind that ball to keep it in the Condors court. And that big point from Sadiku will lead to another timeout by Kelly McGuire and the Condors. You see Wayne Wilkins talking things over with his stars, sharing a laugh with Sadiku. Not too many laughs going on on that Condors bench right now as Kelly McGuire is telling the fellas what he expects to see out of them as they move ahead this set three. Yeah, I mean, you can only imagine, you know, really telling his boys, man, we need a little bit of that urgency. You're just not really quite seeing the urgency from the guys in black as it's just, you know, the passes just haven't quite been there. You know, the setting hasn't quite been there. I mean, they've had to go to their setter a couple of times for some hits just to try to get really things going. So, I mean, what Kelly McGuire is doing whatever he can to try to get his guys in the right position to be successful. That's exactly right. If you're coming into the Hawks' nest to take on the number one nationally ranked Humber Hawks, you better bring your A game. And for Conestoga, might have been the B game, might have been the C game, certainly haven't played terribly, but not the type of effort you need to put forth to beat an undefeated Hawks squad. And as well, Conestoga is still just not out of this game by any sense of the word. We've still got lots of volleyball left, and you know they can clean up some of those errors, especially from the service line, and uh, it could be a really different look from these Conestoga condos. Conestoga Condors, excuse me. A real tongue twister with that alliteration. Humber Hawks, Conestoga Condors. Here's Sadiku with the kill. That one right in front of Ryan Clutton. Net violation charge for the Condors. Would have been a net violation anyways. But still a good look at swing there by Razor. 9-5 is your score as the veteran Andrew Blakey with the jump surf. Clutton on the first touch. This one's set up to Kevin Duong. That'll meet the block. Maximum Crowder. Now, once again, this Hummer block. He's done a really good job of reading the Conestoga attackers. They've really done a good job knowing exactly where those attackers, the attack is going to come from. Doing a really good job getting over and getting up and getting big. 
So from one block star to the other, Crowder with the point, Blakey with the surf. Over it goes, this one into the net, off the hand of Dylan Hart. Serving is number 14, Andrew Blakey. Blakey's gonna remain on the line. Also played a little baseball, a right-handed pitcher for the Humber Hawks earlier in his student athlete career, but I'm sure Wayne Wilkins is glad he's stuck to volleyball. From the backcourt, Judah Verbeek paints the corner, no one home for the Hawks. Wayne Wilkins has a look at his feet there, not the defensive alignment he was looking for. Yeah, it was a good spot there. Doing a really good job reading the defense and putting it into the wide open court. Hummer just collapsing onto the net, just a little bit too much there. Floater of a serve, Gomes corrals it. There's Sadiku trying to go cross court. Aren't with the touch. That one put up by Burbeek. Ball handling violation charge to the Condors. Ball handling violation. Serving for the Hawks is number 13. So the Hawks awarded yet another point. They made some great plays, but I've also been given plenty of points by these Condors in today's match. Gomes with a good looking serve. On the net it goes. Kevin Duong has to readjust. And another violation charge to these Condors as those errors starting to ramp up. Yeah, really starting to pile up, and you can start seeing a little bit of discouragement on the faces of the Condors. Just not the night they've needed to knock off the top ranks. Humberhawk says we see a rare service error by Jake Combs. Jake's going to take a breather here, making way for Christopher Bowen. Serving for the Condors is number 20. Well deserved rest there for the setter. Gomes, a little bit of water, a little bit of Gatorade. Well earned indeed. Here's Marshall Point for the Condors. Bowen gets his touch. There's Sadiku. This one sent way up in the air, trailing towards the chairs for Beek back in play. And DeWong just can't set it over as the Hawks continue their run, 14 to seven, now doubling up Conestoga. And doubling up Conestoga here are the Hawks, but a really good job there by Conestoga just to try to get away from the scramble. Just couldn't quite get those passes. Sadiku with a good looking serve. This one set up by point for Beek. First touch to Raddy Kim. Chris Bowen finds Sadiku, that one off the block. Hawks scrambling now, Kim gets to it. Bowen goes over in two, there's Duong, now point. Here's for Beek with a free ball. On the net, Ferreira. Now Maximum Crowder getting it done from the middle of the court. Yeah, maximum effort there by Maximum Crowder. Doing a really good job there, taking that meter ball set by Bowen. Good looking point there by Crowder as he makes way in this game for Colin Skeins. First time we've seen Skeins in this match. Another example of the depth Humber possesses. Verbeek beats the block, can't beat Kim. Here's Bowen, he's gonna find Fadari off the block. Clutton can't get to it. And 16 points are now on the board for the Hawks as they're running away here in set number three. Yeah, Fadari there with his ninth kill of the evening. Doing a really good job here getting back into this 2020 half season. With this big lead, Coach Wayne Wilkins getting some fresh legs into the game. Jaden Milne now out there for the Hawks. We see a service error there. Jaden Milne was one of the most impressive players in the OCAA Provincial Tournament, hosted by Humber here last year. So when this program got the news that he'd be a Humber Hawk, a lot of us in athletics were awfully excited. See, lets that one sail along. Yeah, as well, one of the team leaders with Diggs. And coming into the game for the Condors, and number 18, Matt Visser. Serving for the Hawks is number Matt four. Visser in for the Condors. Kevin Duong heads out. Big man Colin Skeins on the line. Serve is over. Schuler gets to it. Now point. Here comes Clutton. Chris Bowen to Skeins. Now Jaden Milne off the block. That's a big one, but out of bounds it goes. Point goes towards the Hawks. An awfully nice looking block by Caterberg. Yeah, really good job there getting up, getting big. Just unfortunately didn't quite have the angle he needed to get that ball to bounce into the Humber court. 
Verbeek off the block. Fadari gets the touch. Here's Bowen in the middle. Blakey sends it over. We have ourselves a whistle. And another point for the Hawks. Two touch. Violation returned by the Condors. And the Hawks now in cruise control of 19 to 8. And Conestoga has had a problem with the two touches. A couple of these longer volleys have spelled disaster for Conestoga, really just giving Humber free points. Condors back within 10 after that service error off the hand of Collins Kane. Caterberg with the serve. Jaden Mill going to let that one go long. Good eye by him. Hawks now up to 20, just five points away from wrapping up a convincing sweep here of Conestoga at home. And coming in the game for the Condors, number 10, uh, Dylan Togarits. Serving for the Hawks. Dylan Togarits in for the Condors, taking the place of Dylan Art. Fadari on the line. First year stud. One with the first touch. Service That's ace. into the bleachers. Service ace for Fadari as he continues his fine day. Three digs, nine kills, and some service aces to go along with it. Yeah, more than a couple of service aces at that as well. He's been doing it from every single part of the court. Another good looking one. Line judge took the worst of it, but that goes out of bounds. There goes the flag as the line judge gets a rounding ovation from the Hawks faithful. Yeah, even those line judges got to stay on their toes out there. Some of these balls really are absolutely hammered. That one just off the white tape. Clears the net. Ryan Clutton sends it skyward. Schuler back to Clutton. Off the block and down. Point towards the Conestoga Condors. 21 to 11. That Clutton just narrowly beating the block there. As Humber making another really good defensive read. Just didn't quite get enough of it. Float serve is over. First touch, Sarah Sulo now in the game as Libero. Milne with a floater over the net. Far side, Clutton once again, this time off of Bowen. And another point for the Condors. Not going away just yet. Yeah, it seems like Clutton, here is their go-to guy when he's at the net. Not doing too much setting. Getting a lot of the uh, brunt of the force here in set number three. But doing a pretty good job. On the net, it's Bowen, Andrew Blakey. Absolute no doubter, the team in black flat footed on that one. And they regain the 10 point lead. Yeah, and Bowen doing a really good job with that meter ball set that Blakely loves so, so much. Does such good damage with that. Almost looking like he tees it up. Service error for Jaden there as the ball will head back the other way. Ryan Clutton, who's had an interesting game. He mentioned it earlier, Matt, kind of started the game as the go-to setter, and now has kind of become the outside hitter all of a sudden. A jack of all trades for Conestoga. Yeah, Kelly McGuire doing uh, everything he can to try to get his boys going. But when you got a stud on the other side of the court like that, absolutely says, no, 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 you want any sort of role, you got to go through me and my buddy Razart and my buddy Blakely. Fadari, absolute bullet there. That's one as the defense, you just kind of stare back and shrug. What can you do when a ball's coming in with that velocity? And just try to get in the way. Hopefully it goes off a body part, stays in court. That one floats over the net. Bowen with the set. Here's Fadari once again. Another cross court Josh winner. Fidari. As Joshua Fadari starting to take Trace over this game. He is oh so good at putting that ball across his body into the far side of the court as there's really no one there for the Condors to even make a play on that one. Just a really good spot. Match point for the Hawks. Blakey with it. Trying to wrap up this sweep here. Far side, off the block it goes. Sadiku sends it skyward. There's Colin Skeins off the chest of her beak. We're still alive here. Fadari puts that one in the air. Bowen runs under it. Here's Razart Sadiku. And the point is awarded to the Hawks on the net violation. So on a day when errors were the concern for the Conestoga Condors, it's an unforced error. That'll end the day for them. 25 to 13, your final score here in set number three. As the women and the men's volleyball teams pick up clean sweeps. A pretty good start to 2020, if you ask me, Matt. Uh, you are exactly right. Both men and women, as you said, starting off their 2020 exactly how they left 2019 in winning condition as we take a look at that 
Last play here, the net violation. Yeah, take a look at the violation there. That all but does it. They started 2019 9-0, went over to Amsterdam, played in the 27th Annual Dynamo Tournament, went 9-1, finished first place there. Come back in 2020, and you start off with a big win over the second place team in the division. What more can you ask for if you're Wade Wilkins and his Humber coaching staff? Yeah, you really can't ask for much more. I mean, Humber did absolutely everything right from serving to defense to offense, doing a really good job fixing the communication errors that they were having earlier in the game and really doing a really good job there in the last set, absolutely owning the Conestoga Condors. See the final score on your screen there. Pretty dominating move there. Xavier Reed and Jake Gomes dancing it up. And why wouldn't you? What a night here as the Hawks begin the new decade just in the way that they ended it with a big win. Even Wayne Wilkins getting in on the celebration. An awful good start to 2020. Thanks for being a part of it. That's going to do it for us here on HSN coverage. On behalf of myself, Adam Lusher, and my buddy Matt Caldwell, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on Wednesday.